temperature. Thank you very much for joining us. There's a female police officer in Hyattsville that's developing quite a reputation in the war on drugs in that area, even though she's only been out of training school a few weeks. We're talking about Arrow, the canine officer. Last month, Hyattsville canine patrol Arrow and her partner officer Richard Hartnett were summoned by Prince George's County Police after officers had arrested a 15-year-old boy suspected of selling crack cocaine. Arrow immediately sniffed out a bag hidden inside a wooden fence post with nearly $1,000 worth of crack in it. What resulted was a successful conviction based on evidence found by Arrow's sharp sense of smell. Get it out. What you got? What you got? Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Here you go. Here you go. Good. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. What do we got? What do we got? What we have is a lot of money that's been stored with drugs all night long. Arrow is a two-year-old golden retriever trained exclusively to detect drugs and is the only canine in PG County. We decided that any extra weapons we could have in the war on drugs would certainly help. And the use of narcotics dogs um, certainly aid law enforcement officers in locating illegal drugs. It gives us kind of an extra edge, almost like having x-ray vision, so to speak. The dog can find things that we can't find because of our abilities to smell. We have the publicity on the side of the car letting people know this is a narcotics canine unit. Uh, when he pulls into areas where we have drug activity, the first thing those people do is start scattering and leaving because they know the drug, the, the drug dog can't detect the, if they have drugs on them. Arrow was certified and was sworn into service by the Hyattsville City Police last July and is often called on by neighboring city police. Tonight, a shocking story from Los Angeles where a two-and-a-half-year-old girl is in a local hospital recovering from a cocaine overdose. She was rushed to the hospital yesterday after suffering seizures at a daycare center. Police are questioning both the child's parents and the workers at that center. And while today's case is an extreme one, the question of how to care for the children of addicts is becoming more and more difficult. Chuck Condor reports. John L. Henderson.